What's up guys, B-Rob here, and today I am reviewing this BPI Sports One More Rep. I'll be right back. All right guys, here it is, BPI Sports One More Rep. But before I begin the review, got a little disclaimer for you. So my review of this product is not me telling you to go out and use this product, it's just me sharing my personal experience my um, recommendation is for you to eat as natural and healthy as you possibly can. But if you decide to use supplements, please consult with your doctor as necessary and read all the instructions on the label, directions on the label and follow that. Um, so that's my disclaimer for you. And so I wanna keep you guys safe, nice, safe and healthy. So uh, BPI Sports, one more rep. Um, what was I looking for when I found this? So I wanted to review this for you, um, basically a new pre-workout. It's not really so new to me because I used it several years ago and uh, it was just one of those things that, you know, I just never kept up with. But as I was looking around, like looking for things to review for you guys, I came across this. So I went ahead and got it and let's uh, like, let's see what's up with it today. So that's, that's why I have it here. How much did I pay for it? I bought this for $15.88 at Walmart and I have a video here that shows uh, some of the suggested use for this product. Also, you see the supplement facts label, and then you'll see me mixing it up here a little bit. Now, as you guys know, I work out early in the morning, so I'm not filming this early in the morning. So you're seeing you're seeing uh, me mix this up before my my workout this morning. Um, what are three of the best qualities I experienced about this product? So. Three of the best qualities, number one is you get 25 servings for basically $16, right, at the recording of this video. And so that's pretty good in today's pre-workout market, right? And just like, you know, you guys know one of my pet peeves is, you know, them putting something, some stuff on the front, but then you go look and you realize that they really want you to take two servings, but they only, all the information is based on one serving. So, you know, it causes you to have to do all this this upfront math it's like just tell me what a serving actually really is because and don't try to trick me thinking i get more well bpi seems like that they actually um they they only recommend you take one scoop and one scoop is one serving and so that's what you have so you have 25 in here um the second thing good quality is that it mixes really well so i like the way it mixes the third good thing is that it states that it's quality tested and so i think that's that's definitely a good thing it's got the little little labels there where it says quality tested. So um, definitely a good thing there that they, they want to state that. Um, a fourth thing that I think is good is, you know, it depends on, on what's, what your routine is. I actually take cell tech, as you guys probably already know, after my workout. So that's how I get my creatine. Fourth good thing is this doesn't have creatine in it. So it's like I am, you know, I'm taking creatine after my workout. So sometimes when I have a pre-workout that has creatine, it's just a little bit extra creatine for me. So this that does, does not have any creatine in it. And so I thought that was a good thing, but I, I made it like a fourth thing because you guys may be mixed about that, all right? Um, so what are three downsides of the supplement? So I only could find two, right? So there's only two downsides. The first though is kind of a big one when it comes to, depending on who you are, some of you guys may see this as a good thing. So that's okay too for me. It was a downside that this was a little more on the weaker side when it, for a pre-workout. And I'm actually considering myself caffeine sensitive. This was a little more on the weaker side. So, um, and I'll tell you a little bit about how I used it, what, what days were better for me to use this. And the number two thing is the Berry Blast, which is what this flavor is right here. Uh, there was times when I was drinking it, I'm like, man, this reminds me of some sort. I was trying to think of the cough syrup. Uh, flavor that it reminded me of, which is probably not a good thing, right, for a pre-workout, especially when it's early in the morning and you just need, you need all the goodness super early in the morning. You don't need something to remind you of cough syrup, right? So it's a small thing. It actually, in the grand scheme of things, these things, pre-workouts and things, they're not going to taste like, you know, something, the most fabulous drink ever. But, um, you know, I did want to bring that out, that this, to me, reminded me of this flavor, uh, Berry Blast, reminded me of cough syrup all right so um what how did i how did this impact my workout so this worked out much better for me on the days that i didn't need that extra kick in the butt so 
you know, and that kick in the butt that you get from the more intense types of pre-workouts. So this worked really well for me. And at the time that I was reviewing this, I was actually uh, doing a review for um, ch checking out some other ones and you'll see those flow out here too. Uh, so I had like three pre-workouts kind of kind of going in rotation. And so this one actually worked out really well um, for me on like my shoulder days because shoulders isn't, isn't really one of those things um, that uh, I, I'm, I'm naturally more um, naturally more ready on shoulder days than needing a swift kick in the butt like what I might need when I'm doing deadlifts or something like that or even sometimes squats. All right, so so this worked out good on those days. Maybe on a, like an arm day too. This would work out well for that. Um, so how do I rate this product on a scale of one to ten, with ten being the best? I give this a seven. And I give it a seven, uh, it, and I guess even more appropriately be like a seven point five, because it's not horrible, but because uh, because the price point is really good, but because it was a little more on the weaker side, and it kind of tastes a little bit like uh, this flavor here, kind of tastes a little bit like cough syrup to me. I thought a seven, or or now I even say a seven point five. I'll upgrade it on the spot. Was probably more uh, more fitting for it. Okay, so not a bad product at all. Um, but you know, just those things. How can a viewer, how could you use this product if you chose to? I would, I would say use it on those workout, only on workout days. Cause it, it does say that here, uh, suggested use on, use on training days only. So only on your training days, use this. And if you're, and if you're sensitive to caffeine, this might work out really well for you. Okay. So just, uh, just my little two cents there. So hopefully this review helped you guys. I really appreciate all you guys who view and leave me really good comments. Um, follow me on social media from Instagram at this is B underscore Rob. And make sure that you please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for tuning in. This is B Rob.